over. Job went on to live a full, happy, blessed 140 more years, enjoying his grandchildren, accomplishing his dreams, fulfilling his purpose. What am I saying? Just because you have some twists, terms, things you don't understand, that doesn't mean your life is over. God has an after this coming. When thoughts whisper, you've seen your best days. You've been through too much. This is as good as it gets. God is saying to you what he said to Job. After the cancer, after the divorce, after the betrayal, there's still a full life ahead of you. You haven't dreamed your best dream. You haven't danced your best dance. You haven't laughed your best laugh. Shake off the disappointment. Get your passion back. God has an after this coming your way. He's not only going to bring you out, but he's going to pay you back for that trouble. You're going to come out stronger, increased, promoted, better than you were before. When it was all over, Job said, I'm convinced nothing and no one can upset God's plans. He was saying, nothing can change the expected end. God already established it. Friends, the enemy cannot keep you from your destiny. Satan had to ask God permission to even test Job. That tells me God is not only in control of your life, he's in control of your enemies. You have nothing to worry about. There is a hedge of protection around you that cannot be penetrated. When Jesus was about to be crucified, he told people, if you destroy this temple in three days, God will raise it up. They thought he was talking about the building. He was talking about himself. Jesus, of course, understood this principle that his end had already been established. He knew his final scene had already been shot. It wasn't him hanging on the cross in great pain. It wasn't him in a tomb buried in great clothes. He knew his final scene was him seated at the right hand of the Father with all power, with the keys of death and hell. That's why it says he endured the pain of the cross, looking forward to the joy that was set before him. The way you stay encouraged in the tough times is you keep looking ahead, knowing that your end has been set. Knowing that you're coming to a flourishing finish. Knowing that God always causes you to triumph. The scripture talks about how Jesus was buried in a borrowed tomb. He had no place to be buried of his own. A disciple came and got his body and buried him in a tomb that they owned. And I can imagine Jesus, before he was crucified, asking that disciple, Can I borrow your tomb? He was saying, I don't need to buy it. This is not how my story ends. This is only temporary. I'll just be here a few days. I have an established end set by my father and no enemy can change it. They can put me in the grave, but they can't keep me in the grave. Our attitude, like Jesus, in difficult times, this is temporary. This addiction is not how my story ends. This defeat, this sickness, this betrayal, it's just one scene. I know another scene is coming. A scene of victory, a scene of favor, a scene of new beginnings. Friends, your final scene has already been shot. Now don't let the twists, the turns, the things you don't understand cause you to get discouraged. Keep moving forward. In the end, it's all going to work to your advantage. Like the ball game I recorded, we know the final outcome. We don't have to live worried and upset. God has established your end. If you'll stay in faith and keep honoring God, I believe and declare. Like Job, God's going to pay you back for the trouble. Like Joseph, God's going to get you to your throne. Like Israel, no matter how you start, you're going to come out with a flourishing finish, accomplishing your dreams, becoming all God created you to be. In Jesus' name. If you receive it, can you say amen today?